Hello, this is Eon. I'm going to try to make these total drama vlogs a daily thing, but no guarantees on it being every single day. It might be every other day or something like that, but I would like to start up a routine with this. The last video I made in this particular series, I only touched on a couple of topics. I didn't really stick with one or elaborate on it too. I didn't elaborate on anything too much. I was thinking about it, and of all the things I kind of touched on, there's one in particular I think is interesting enough that it should have a video all by itself, that it should be given some real time and speculation. Actually, I'd go as far as saying, somebody write a fan fiction about this, because it'd be really interesting to see play out. What I'm talking about is the prospect of Eva and Joe being in the same season. What if both of these characters had made it into Total Drama All-Stars? They were both in the same season. There are several different scenarios that could play out. They could end up being allies of some sort, making a temporary alliance with each other. They could be on opposite sides and be absolutely ferocious rivals. There's several different scenarios that would be absolutely interesting. Now, of course, considering their background and their respective seasons and their respective seasons where they both showed up, they'd definitely be on the villains team. That's undeniable. They'd both be on the same team together. Joe, because she's deceitful, underhanded, definitely leaning more towards villain. And Eva, she was just angry. She was out for blood every single second she was on the screen. Most of her, most of her drive in season one when she returned was to seek vengeance against Bridget. Wrongful vengeance, of course, but, because of stuff like that, actually, thinking about it, I take that back. There's, there's a foundation that Eva could be on the villains, but there's also a possibility that she could be on the good guys team, too. If she had her anger issues taken care of, or if she'd gone through some anger management, that might actually lead to a completely different side of her being shown. In all honesty, in the event that both characters met up, I think the best scenario would be to see them on opposite teams, to see them being rivals. These two would be one of the more interesting pairs to see face off. My reasoning is this. They're both extremely athletic, so in any kind of physical challenge, they'd be neck and neck. They'd probably be extremely close every single time. Now, of course, in a challenge that requires a bit more intelligence or thought behind it, Joe would definitely would probably have the advantage. She kind of knew how to work the game a bit better. She was more of a strategist than Eva was. But who says that Eva couldn't match her toe-to-toe -to -toe in other areas? Again, with the physical challenges, Eva would be toe-to-toe -to -toe with Joe every single step of the way. There It'd just be interesting to see these two characters matched up, to see how they'd interact with each other. They'd be more likely to be rivals than anything else. But then again, the other possibility, the potential of them teaming up, they'd be, they'd be a pretty intimidating match due to physical strength alone. With Joe being the brains of the outfit, she could easily take the two of them to the final three if she wanted to. Actually, 
No matter what way I think about it, it'd just be extremely interesting to see the two of them face off, and what if their rivalry was something along the lines of they were angry and hated each other at first, but they developed a mutual sense of respect towards each other. In other words, when they finally got down to the wire, they were the final two, they'd face off in an honorable kind of way. They'd actually, no, it'd be an all-out brawl. There'd be no sense of honor. They probably would have a sense of respect for each other due to just how much effort they put into physical training and their similar interest in maintaining their uh, physical strength alone. That would be a very high point of similarity between them. In some respects, you could say that that'd be a foundation or basis for the two of them to get along, but they could just as easily get under each other's skin. They they'd both be going after the goal. Even if they were friends at some point in the game, they'd end up getting into some kind of argument with each other, and it'd escalate quickly to the point that they'd be at each other's throats. Because even if Eva did have some sort of anger management therapy or something like that, she could still s snap pretty easily at just the right kind of comment. And from a lot of the snarky back and forth Joe had with Brick in season four, she knows e exactly what to say to get other people's skin, and she is no stranger to insulting people. That could definitely frustrate Eva, and just frustrate her that much more coming from somebody that she would be intimidated by. She would find quite the match in Joe. Just because I could easily see them being, they'd have difficulty trying to defeat each other when it comes to physical strength, simply because of how much time and effort both of them put into training themselves, training and conditioning themselves. I know I've brought up that point quite a few times, but it's really the biggest thing to know with both of these characters. The biggest key difference, the defining difference between these characters is to who would win considering what circumstances and what sort of challenge it was, are the differences in their personalities. Joe has a bit more restraint. She's a bit more in control. She is a strategist. Her goal, her set of thinking, I'd argue that she could probably be a match for Heather or Alejandro when it comes to smarts and setting things up, or setting up some kind of plan and executing it. She's one of those types, not quite at the same level as what one of those people would be, but she does have that kind of intelligence in and of her own right. Whereas Eva, she's determined definitely, but she has very ferocious anger. Her biggest drawback is that she lets her anger dictate pretty much everything that she does. Joe could easily take and manipulate that. But Despite that, there would be some circumstances where Eva would win out, because look at what happens when she's fueled by her anger. She's, she's pretty much She-Hulk. She-Hulk on steroids, to some extent. If the challenge was about brute strength alone, and she and Joe were matched just by that much, and it just take a little bit more just in brute strength alone to win the challenge, Eva would probably win. But what, if it would be a challenge involving having to combine both smarts in physical strength, Joe would win out. It would really depend on the circumstances. It's, it's so tempting to say that Joe could easily defeat or beat out Eva, 
but that's just what makes it so interesting. You don't necessarily know. They could play off of each other in very interesting ways, and again, there's a lot about Eva that we really don't know. We've only seen her angry. We've only ever seen her angry. She may very well have the same kind of smarts and strategist type of brain that Joe does. She may even be. And when I think about it, Eva can be a team player. In the episode after the Total Drama Island finale, she found a group that she teamed up with and worked with. She can be a team player when she wants to. She's probably a bit more amicable and agreeable with Joe if you don't get under her skin, if you don't anger her, if you actually stay on the same grounds as what she does. She's a very, she, it's hinted at that she's a very loyal and dependable teammate. That's another thing. If the two were on the same side, Eva would, if Eva trusted Joe, they'd be a dynamic duo of sorts. That would be extremely interesting to watch play out, simply because of how their personalities would play off of each other, but mutual respect and the two trusting each other, again, they could easily make it to the top two simply because of how ferocious both of them are as competitors and players. Either situation will be extremely interesting to watch play out. It's extremely disappointing that that's not going to be, that that's not going to happen in the actual show. I'd actually go as far as saying that watching Eva and Joe face off would actually be roughly comparable to, well, Alejandro and Heather facing off. I'd argue that... I'd argue that that was one of the show's best rivalries. What was so interesting about watching those two face off was just how much they complemented each other, how similar they were, yet just how much of a challenge they both were to each other. It was... It was a matter of... It was a matter of waiting to see who won out due to what? It'd be the same case here. It'd be a match of very similar, very or er, rivals and competitors on par with each other. I'm going to end this by saying lost opportunity.